Today's show starts with Elon predicting doom for short sellers, also spending 24-7 at the factory, and rolling the first performance Model 3 off the line. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 416 for June 18th, 2018. We start things off with Elon all over Twitter again recently. Normally, I pretty much stay away from stories related to the stock of Tesla because the situation on the stock can change so quickly. But this quote is worth mentioning, and it is related to the stock, so here we go. Fred Lambert from Electrek tweets related to a story we'll get to in a minute, saying, quote, Shorts seem to be freaking out about the assembly line being in a tent. Can you elaborate on the situation with the line? End quote. Elon responded to the question, saying, quote, They have about three weeks before their short position explodes. End quote. We all know Elon has been famous for his tsunami of hurt comments related to people betting against Tesla in the past, which then came to pass as the company's stock took off like a rocket. Elon sometimes has made comments out of frustration on Twitter, but I think this one, there's more to it. Three weeks should be roughly when Tesla releases delivery numbers for Q2, and likely updated production numbers as well. I'd hazard a guess that Elon knows what all those numbers look like, and is firing a shot across the bow of would-be shorts right now, giving them a final chance to get out before they lose their shirt. Related to knowing those numbers, Elon appears to be in an all-out push to make that 5000 per week number happen before the quarter is out, and doesn't have much time left to do it. Per yet another company-wide email obtained by Electric, Elon's back to hanging out at the factory 24-7 to make it happen. From the email, quote, I will be at our Fremont factory almost 24-7 for the next several days checking in with those groups to make sure they have as many resources as they can handle, end quote. He said this referring to multiple leadership groups working to overcome bottlenecks still affecting several areas of the build process. This includes issues in, quote, paint shop output, GA3, which stands for General Assembly 3, bringing up the new GA4, General Assembly 4, end of line, and module zone 4 at Giga, end quote. Elon leads off the email on an upbeat note saying, quote, It's getting very exciting. All parts of the Model 3 production system are now above 500, and some are almost 700 cars already. Congratulations to all on making so much progress, end quote. But with so much apparently still to do and so little time to do it, I suspect the factory reports being around a 4,000 per week number at the end of the quarter. Let's all remember that this still means that 16,000 cars per month are being produced at that moment, at a yearly rate of just shy of 200,000 cars per year. That's no small number and is still quite laudable, even if it doesn't hit the original target. But hey, since when has Tesla been known for hitting a target anyway? They'll get there, it's just a matter of time before they hit and push through the coveted 5k per week goal. Lastly, capping off the series of Elon goodness comes a tweet showing the first performance Model 3 completed on the assembly line, which appears to be in a tent. Elon tweeted the picture to the world saying, quote, Amazing work by Tesla team. Built entire new general assembly line in three weeks with minimal resources. Love you guys so much. Pick a first Model 3 dual motor performance coming off the line, end quote. Now, that's amazing indeed. To build and qualify an entire assembly line in three weeks seems nothing short of miraculous to me. Could be my naivete in manufacturing, but that seems like an impossible timeline. Congrats as well to the Tesla team that made it happen. You can check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're doing that, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks a bunch to our newest super patron, Blake Thompson. So happy to have you aboard. He joins the rest of the super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, and Morvan Ogg. If you can't support with dollars, be sure to show your love with positive reviews and subscriptions on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet. So, about that contest at the end of the last show. Firstly, glad to see so many listen to the end. Thanks for sticking with the show through the finish. So it took me a bit to formulate, but I think I've got a game for us that's going to be fun. And this is going to be a game of Guess the Supercharger. 
on my trip to my destination over Friday and Saturday this week. I'll be tweeting over the course of the road trip. When I stop at a supercharger, I'll take a snapshot or maybe even a quick video. The first person to respond to the tweet with the correct answer picks up a point. The answer must be given before I reach the next supercharger or have stopped for the day. I'll tally the points for the correct answers, and whoever has the most points wins. If there's a tie, the tiebreaker is going to be guessing the number of miles on my trip odometer for the whole of the trip. The winner will pick up an Amazon gift card, value to be determined. Sound like fun? I hope you all enjoy it. So, related to that show note, as noted, I will be indeed on vacation next week, and typically in the past, I have brought my recording equipment with me. But this year, I think the equipment is going to stay at home. I've been burning the candle at both ends for some time now, and a true recharge where I can relinquish all responsibility is something that I can use right now. Given that I've been running a solo daily show for over two years with no break, I think it's time that I take a short one. Don't worry, this isn't a long-term break, just a family vacation. And I will still very much be tweeting throughout the time that I'm out. So if the contest doesn't prod you into following at Tesla Tidbits on Twitter, then maybe this will. And that reminds me, I missed the show's anniversary this year, way back on May 11th. So thanks as always to you, the listeners out there, for keeping the show going. I'm humbled that you enjoy my content. That's going to be it for today's episode. If you have feedback for me, as always, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tibbets and use the hashtag AskTeslaTibbets if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.